Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are talking about Topaz Photo AI and specifically their super focus feature, which they recently added. Now, if you're a photographer of any kind on social media, you talk about photography, you probably got bombarded by the algorithm with advertisements for Topaz Photo AI and this super focus feature. And in the ad, they took a, an image that was wildly out of focus and suddenly became incredibly sharp. So I kind of had my doubts about that when I saw it. Uh, I own Topaz Photo AI. I wanted to check it out and see if it was really worth the hype. And as we go through this, you'll see for yourself whether it is or not. I just want to say before we get going that even though I own Topaz Photo AI and I paid for it myself, I'm not being sponsored in any way, shape, or form. This is all my personal opinion, and you can make your own judgment one way or another whether you think this product is worth buying or not. Having said that, I do have an affiliate link below. If you choose to use that link, I do get a small portion of that sale. Now, as we go through these photos, I'm going to start with images that's not so bad, and then we're going to get progressively worse. So you really want to hang out toward the end to see it, how it performs on an image that's pretty bad. Now, as we go through this, I am going to compare it to some of their other features in there, and are those just as good or better? Depends, as you'll see. Also, this process could take an extended period of time in some cases, so I'm going to do a lot of compressing of time just to speed this process up, and you'll see when we get there. All right, with that, let's get going. So all these photos are from a nice, bright, sunny day. I chose not to try to do this with the uh, you know high ISO image because I want to give the Super Focus the best chance possible to actually prove its worth. Now, in this case, this image is a little soft. I'm going to start easy here. A little soft. You can see right here is because this is ISO 280, but you see 560 millimeter. Uh, I have a Nikon Z mount 400 2H, which has a built-in teleconverter, which sounds great, except it's a little soft. Even when it's in focus, it's a little soft. So I want to give this one a try, see if I can get it nice and tack sharp uh, as if it was in its 400 to 8 mode. So with that, we right click on it. We go to edit in. We go to Topaz Photo AI. I'm going to do edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments because I've already made the adjustments over here. And away we go. All right, so it brings up Photo AI. Let's look at her face. It's doing its analysis. You can see it down here in the lower left. I don't let it do anything it wants to because frankly, photo AI kind of goes off the deep end. Anyway, you can see super focused beta up here in the upper right and a remove an object. And then uh, you have this add enhancements. So down here on the lower right, it's suggesting some different things. Uh, recover faces, denoise. I don't think it really needs it. Uh, and sharpen. So here are my thoughts. Let's try sharpen to start with. It is suggesting a lens blur, which I would agree with. Uh, strength of 61, minor denoise. And you can see her face chart put up very well. Uh, if we turn it off, uh, you can see it goes soft. And here we are, it's quite sharp. So the sharpen works her pretty well. Let me go down. And now I will tell you sometimes on some images, especially high ISO, you get some, it's all nice and sharp. You get some weird artifacts, at least I, it did in the past, maybe they've corrected it, but so I would say this looks pretty darn good. And it has two different lens blur modes in its AI model, lens blur, lens blur version two, motion blur, refocus, it's natural and strong. Uh, but anyway, I looks like it's came out really well. Let's turn that off. Uh, let's do the recover face. And it picked a face, there's the only face in here. And it did sharpen it up, not too crazy. And I think it's fine, except the, I think the sharpen is actually better. I don't think it really needed to cover her face. Let's, and let's try the super focus. Click on super focus. It has a preview window. It'll actually do as much or as little of the image in super focus as you want to, but here's the preview window. I'm gonna go with low sharpen and none on the focus boost. Focus boost is only for like images that are very much out of focus. At least that's what they say in the little pop-up right here. So in the, you can see in this window, it actually did a very good job and you could actually do more than one window. Here's rendering another preview over here. 
which might be interesting because there's lettering in here and we'll see what it does with that. It came out fine. All right, so if we, let's say we want to go this route. I think it's as good as they're sharpen, but here comes the fun part. Let's click render. Now, before I hit render, I'm going to show you the dimensions up here, 6145 by 4916. So fairly large image. I only cropped it slightly from its original. So let's hit render and see what happens. Calculating ETA. So it's going to take a while just to figure out what the estimated time of arrival is. And we're calculating. And we're still calculating. And I'm going to speed this up to get this over with. Later. All right. We finally got the ETA. It says 34 minutes remaining. 34 minutes. Uh, well, we're not going to sit through that. So I'm going to cancel this out. 34 minutes. Keep that in mind. So we're coming to the conclusion that just using the basic sharpen functions works pretty darn good. I will say that about Topaz Photo AI is that its sharpening is pretty good. In fact, sometimes it overdoes it. You have to tone it down. But uh, yeah, let's not do the super focus. That is some crazy talk there. All right, let's move on to the next image and see what happens. So moving on to this next image, again, this is the same player. This one's even more out of focus than the other one. Uh, not only do we have the teleconverter factor, but it really is generally out of focus. So I didn't catch the focus right. Let's see how it does on something a little more difficult. Again, I'm using the Lightroom edits and it's taking it to Lightroom. It's doing its analysis. Yeah, let's go up here and look at her face. And again, it's suggesting recover faces. Uh, I know this is gonna do fine, it usually does. It's one of the things that Topaz Photo AI does actually pretty well. So you see that it actually did fix her face pretty darn good. I'll turn it off to show you. Soft and fixed. All right, so let's say we're not gonna do the recover face thing. How about we just sharpen the subject? Again, it went with lens blur, which I agree with. Let's lens blur to meh. Not a big difference. Strength, 44, minor no denoise at six. It did fine. If there had been multiple subjects in here, you can actually edit the selection to just the subject. In this case, it lit it up, or you could do all of it. We don't want to do that. Uh, we just want the subject in focus. Uh, so the sharpen works just fine in this uh, product. So I, I really can't complain too much about Topaz Photo Eyes sharpening or to recover faces. So let's try and see what happens with the super focus. Once again, we're back to the original and let's hit super focus. It's, it's saying none, it's suggesting none and then sharpen strength low. So let's try it out, see what happens. This is the preview. Uh, so it's better, but it, it looks a little artificial. I'm going to try medium, see what happens here on the sharpened strength. I think that's slightly better, but that's just, you know, we're, we're nitpicking here quite a bit. Um, so yeah, it does work. Uh, you do have to play with it a little bit to dial it in. Let's see what it takes to actually render this image with the this, this subject under super focus on my computer. And it's calculating ETA. And just calculating the ETA, we're looking at a couple minutes just to calculate the ETA. Later. All right, it finally came up with an ETA of 12 minutes. And mind you, this has been cut severally from the last one. It's not a full frame. It's 33 by 44.94. So much smaller image than the last one. It was like, what, 38 minutes, something like this? So 12 minutes. And we're not going to sit through that. Uh, we'll just go with what the preview said and live with it. So I'll cancel out of that. Stop the rendering. And let's go back to Lightroom and let's do the most difficult one that I found and see how that comes out. These are players who are in the background of a larger image. I've cropped it down considerably. So we just have these players in the background who are obviously out of focus. So with that, let's go over to uh, Photo AI and see what it can do.
All right, it's analyzing the image as usual. However, let's just try the super focus without all the other recommendations here. So super focus AI or super focus beta, I should say. And I have played with this somewhat in the past to get the sharpening strength and the focus boost. As we said before, focus boost is only for images that are really out of focus. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of boost and we'll try it out here. We'll render the preview and I will speed this up as usual to uh, speed this process up for you. Okay, it looks pretty good. I have to say, it looks pretty good. It looks a little artificial. Uh, let's try high and see if that works as far as the sharpened strength. Okay, again, a little artificial looking. Let's try this player in the background, or farther in the background. Well, that's considerable improvement over what it was, I have to admit. And let's try, here's the original and the super focus. So significant differences between those two, I will admit. Let's try the lettering and see what it does with the lettering. Not bad, not perfect, but not bad. I have to say I can, it is legible, I will say that. All right. so. I do want to edit the selection before we do anything, because right now, as you can see, it wants to super focus everything. And we really just want it on the subject. And I can tell you from some experience playing with this is, if you try to super focus this whole thing, you're gonna get some weird, um, really weird striations and anachronisms in the background here that just don't fit. So let's, Get rid of the things we don't want to focus, which is this player right here. I'm masking that off. Uh, for some reason, it did not include her arm, but I do want to include her arm. So I am going to include that in the mask. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's try the render at this point in time and see what we come up with. Hitting render, it's gonna calculate the ETA. And as usual, I'll speed up this process. A few moments later. Okay, 41 minutes. It's a long time. One eternity later. Okay, it uh, finally got done. So here we are, let's export it to Lightroom. All right, so here we, we're back in Lightroom. It created a TIFF file, and you can see it did a good job. Little highlights, a little blown out. Uh, the lettering's not perfect. Their faces are looking pretty, pretty good, I have to admit. Lettering's pretty decent right here, uh, although this could be a little better. Let's see what uh, Topaz says about lettering after you've done the super focus. So let's go over there real quick. So let's see what they say here. Best practices for super focus. Results best shown on images that at least four megapixels. Got it. Works best for out of focus and soft images. Got it, we did that. For best results, recover faces after super focus, especially in small to medium sized faces as face details are altered by super focus. I thought their faces were in pretty good shape, so I don't know that we need to do that. For best results, use preserved text after each soap after super focus on small to medium sized text as it may be altered by super focus. Let's try it one more time. We'll go to edit in, go to Topaz Photo AI with the adjustments. Okay, so we're back in Photo AI and this time we're gonna do something different. We're gonna do preserve text. And let's see, it does edit selection. And it did choose this text, that text, that text, and this text. Didn't choose the numbers. Um, I guess we'll just let it go as is. Controls, it's either low resolution or noisy. I think it's more like low resolution. You can see down here, it's doing its thinking, it's processing. Still doing its thinking and processing. Let it finish up. All right, it says it enhanced it. Well, you can actually see the stitching in her lettering up here on her chest. K 
Canyon View, I don't know that it got any better. Uh, let's turn it off and on. Uh, it's a slight, slight improvement, which you could probably not even tell on here on YouTube. We go down here to this Canyon View. We'll zoom in on that. Off and on, off, on. Very, it's slightly better. I'll say that about it. We'll export back to Adobe. It's going to create another version of it over there in Adobe Lightroom. All right, so does it work? Yes, it does work to a significant extent. And here is the original, as you'll recall, obviously very much out of focus, not sharp at all. Here's the final product. Yeah, it's a significantly improved. So I, I'll have to hand it to them. I, is it absolutely perfect? No, but uh, it is a significant improvement over the original, which is this right here. So I guess the question you have to ask yourself now is, is it worth it to buy Topaz Photo AI specifically for this, this new feature, the Super Focus? I can tell you as an owner and a user of Photo AI, yeah, I use it. I use it pretty regularly. And, and in fact, the images that I, you saw from this demonstration, I use it on those teleconverter images that were soft. That was the only way I could really recover them to get them to work. Now, if you do choose to buy it, it is on sale for the holidays as of right now, as I checked it, as I filmed this, it's usually, it was at $189, it's now $139. So you might want to get on that while the sale is going on. Once again, I do have an affiliate link below that I get a small portion from. All right, with that, I thank you all for being here. If you're not already a subscriber and you got something out of this video, please think about subscribing. Uh, hit that like, hit the bell, so you're notified for any upcoming videos. And if you have any questions, concerns, comments, put them down below. All right, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one.